Hey guys, welcome to Life Builds. My name is Michael. And I'm Zoya. And today we are heading out to buy our new car for the channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Today I'm going to be buying a 2008 BMW X5 and I wanted to kind of explain my goals with this purchase, what you guys are going to be able to see, and maybe you guys can give me some ideas for what you want to see in part two. So within the last month I actually sold my 2005 BMW X5 and the reason I sold it is because it had the 3.0 liter V6 engine and I was using it mainly for towing and while it towed perfectly fine I felt like it didn't have enough power to comfortably tow heavier loads. And so I decided I'm gonna sell this and in the future I want to buy a V8 newer model X5 for towing. Now I came up on this deal on Facebook Marketplace and it's a very good deal. It's pretty undervalued because it needs a little tiny bit of work, but I don't currently want a BMW X5. I got my seven series that you can see I'm in right now and that's gonna be my summer car. I want the X5 for this winter when I'm buying snowmobiles and I'm going up in the mountains and I want a comfortable car to do that. But I still don't wanna pass up on this deal and I thought of an idea. What if I bought this car as a kind of a flip, but mostly just to test out, do I actually wanna buy this car? Is this enough of an upgrade for me to sell the 7 Series to purchase this new X5 and is it something I actually wanna own? So. The goal with this one is I'm gonna make a little bit of money in the process, I'm gonna be able to figure out if I actually wanna buy this car and take you guys along with it, show you guys what it needs and show you the whole process of flipping this car. All right, so let's talk about what this car is gonna need. Well, the very first thing it's gonna need is it needs a new rear wheel. The wheel is cracked and it's leaking air really badly, so then the, pri the owner, he decided he was gonna buy a whole new set of wheels. Well, for some reason he ordered the wrong wheels or I'm not exactly sure of the story, it's very, very hard to communicate with this seller. And so they were the wrong ones. He's like, I don't care about the car, I'm done. I just wanna get rid of it. So that brings me to the next point. The car is very, very undervalued. It's also really, really bad pictures and inside is very, very filthy. So it shows me that they, they just, they're, they're done with the car. They don't wanna deal with it anymore. And that's where I come in. I'm gonna basically come in, I'm gonna replace the rear wheel. I'm gonna run it home on the spare tire. I'm going to give it a really good detail and interior and exterior wash. I'm gonna take some really good pictures, enjoy the car, and then I'm gonna sell it. So like always, I'm gonna catch you guys when we go and purchase the new vehicle. I'm not gonna film anything. I wanna respect their privacy, but I'll give you a walk around as soon as we purchase the new vehicle and I'll show you what we buy. Alrighty guys, we are here on the test drive for the BMW X5. And uh, initial thoughts, it runs good. It started pretty hard, like it, it was making a, a harder noise, like valve clack, and then it went away. So I might need to put some thicker weight oil in it. The oil looks pretty fresh. Um, other than that, the car's dirty inside. And I read all the codes. There was a couple codes, I cleared them. We're gonna check them when we get back. But overall, I think I'll probably end up buying the car. And I'll catch you guys at the end of this clip when we uh, make the sale. All right guys, here's the new BMW X5. Let me show you around. All right guys, here's the car. It is pretty dirty on the outside, but let me show you where the wheel is. All righty, so here is the spare tire where the cracked rim was. Inside, we have a full set of different wheels. Here's the interior. It's a little bit dirty. See, the sunroof doesn't work. But Zoe and I are gonna come home. I'm gonna clean this car up and make it brand new again. All right, Zoe and I made it home late last night. We, went, we ended up staying in town and having a dinner with some family, so it was too late to film when we got home, but I'm here now. Got the X5, it ran great all the way home, so that's a really good sign. And I'm gonna give it a quick wash, but I actually sourced a new set of wheels for this car. You know, I can get them today, as long as they're the right size, I'm gonna go try them. So wash the car real quick. I'm gonna go pick up those new wheels, see if they fit and then we'll get onto the interior detail later in this video.
Wow, this car cleaned up beautifully. Look at this. All the color came back. It's so nice. Paint's in really good condition, but we're heading out right now and we're gonna go try to find a new set of wheels for this car, get it completely fixed up. Alrighty guys, I was able to get a new set of 2013 BMW X5 wheels for just 540 bucks. So I'll show you them. I got them mounted up in the back of the car and I'm in line here. I'm gonna get them mounted up and I'll show you the new product on the car. That should be the last thing we have to do besides a few little minor things to make this car run smooth. Alrighty, check it out. Look at these new wheels I put on the BMW. These are the Style 334. Oh man, it just completes this car. All right, so we have brand new tires on the X5. We have brand new wheels. And now we're gonna head into the new detail on this BMW. Alrighty, we just finished the detail of this BMW X5 and it turned out phenomenal. Look at how clean it is. It looks brand new in here. So I know at the beginning of this video, I had said that I was planning to own this car for maybe two or three weeks, and then I was gonna flip it. However, in the process of owning this car, my mom, who has a, an older car, saw some pictures of it and is like, this is a beautiful car. So this weekend, I'm gonna take it down to her. We're gonna test drive it and see if she likes it. And if she does, that's the end of the video. That's the end of the series. If she doesn't, then I'll still proceed to sell it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Just me picking up a car to test it out, going through the process of cleaning it up, fixing it. And if you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a life builds video. Catch you on the next one.